All right, hi everybody. I have a Pioneer DEH P7900BT right here in front of me. So you can see that over here. So what I've done so far is I flipped over the unit and I apologize ahead of time for all the fireworks going on, but in the background it is 4th of July right now. And so far I have uh, pride at the sides. So in all, the, all of these small areas, I have pried up just along the sides and the back, pried up, and the cover lifts out. And I have also gone ahead and taken out all of these screws along the sides and bottom of the unit. So there are six screws and each of them has an arrow pointing towards them so you'll see one back here and then there's an arrow you'll see a couple in the back right here so there's your other arrow and the majority of them are actually on this side so arrow 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 and that's it. So the, the problem with this unit was that every time it would start up, it would chatter along this side and the face would get kind of stuck. So after I open it up, I can take a look over here and I notice that there is a piece from the black gear inside of the white gear and unfortunately since the motor is still on, so let me focus, since the motor is still on, this will not move by hand. So I'm going to have to get the motor out. All right, so after pulling off that, that cover, you'll have four screws to remove. So one of them is inside of this hole, at the bottom of this hole. The second one is at the bottom of this hole. The third is this silver one right here. And the fourth is right here. Now, they are pretty tight on there, so I highly suggest if you just have one of these basic electronic school screwdriver sets to get a bigger screwdriver that will break it loose and just try to use a really uh, f uh, hold it down very firmly and twist very suddenly and strongly so that it'll break it loose and just back it up as much as you can because these ones are also too short on top of uh, being more likely to strip them once those four screws are out then you can lift the cd player mechanism out i'll try to do this with one hand there we go and you'll notice that there is going to be a ribbon cable right here so the easiest so that's the screws falling out i just left them in the easiest way is to just kind of have this off to the side let it rest in a uh, way that won't break the ribbon cable and the easiest way to do this is if you can see the gray tabs on the CD player mechanism you'll just push these back I have a, a small flathead and you just kind of push them back like so
and push the other one back as well. Trying to get a focus, there we go. And it might be, take a couple tries because they like to, one goes likes to go back in while the other one goes out. There we go, they're both back. And you can pull the ribbon out like that. And now the CD player is free and you can put that off to the side. Wow, sorry for that. Put that off to the side. And now we can see in here the motor mechanism on the right side. So what you wanna do is you want to unplug this white plug and this black rod I, I have no idea what that's for that wasn't in my other head unit that I fixed but I imagine that you just don't want to move that too much so you can get your hands on a couple of the wires and pull up on this plug then that'll be your next bet. Alright, so after pulling this plug, I was able to get my fingernails, and they're not even that long, into each side of the plug and lift up. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to get a flathead screwdriver and just pry in this section right here in the middle. Just stick it in and kind of pry out at the same time pulling on the face and you'll do the same thing on the other side just pry in this middle area right here and pull out on the face and you will see the motor motorized face mechanism start to come out now there is another ribbon cable that is attached as you can see right here and you'll want to do the same thing as before. There are some tabs on each side. They're just a little different shade of white and you'll just pull back on those with your flathead screwdriver. Sorry. And just kind of pull back. Just try to push back as straight as possible and then get your finger down on the ribbon and pull out and There's your motorized face. I will want to add that right here, this cable has a little terminal that snaps onto this pin right here. So just be careful of that as well. Mine uh, just came apart as I pried. So that's something to do maybe before just to be safe. All right, so now we're gonna look at the right side where the motor is. Now, if the motor is still in, it's going to resist any movement, so you can't move it with your fingers. So we're gonna have to take out this motor. The first thing you want to do is, you'll see this plastic piece right here. You'll wanna just kinda, um, in order to take that off, you have to take off this black screw on the side so we'll do that right now. Oh, that's my flathead. I need my Phillips. It is pretty tight on there, so give some short and strong twists. There we go. I felt it break. Sorry for the lining. Let me... battery on my phone is pretty low so I can't use a flash on it but you can see that it's loose definitely don't want to lose that little screw so just kind of drop it down give it a tap and put it off to the side so here I have my screws in order from the most inner screws to the outer and just setting those aside. 
the rest of my units off to the side. I took my faceplate off and the CD player mechanism is off to the side. Not worried about those now. I can go ahead and take this metal plate off by prying it up. Actually, let me just drop it off like this. There we go, I just popped it off. It's out of the way. And I'll put it with that black screw so I know that those go together. So, as I'm looking at the bottom, I actually notice... Uh, Another little issue. So I can see in some extra pieces of white, something, I don't know what. Oh, looks like some styrofoam. That's not good. So we'll try to fish those out. I'll be able to get to that one. I don't know, I won't be able to get to it yet. All right, so on top of getting these two screws off, there is also one down here on the bottom that I will take off. And they were really tight on the piece. I had to use my really big screwdriver to and I break them loose they were actually making my smallest screwdriver set um, they were making this the bit spin within the body within the handle so let me put this down to get that loose before I strip it all right so along with these two screws along the top this one in the golden uh, threaded area and this one in the corner. There was one on here on the bottom So you really want to make sure to be careful use very short and strong twisting motion just like uh, just to loosen it very uh, Slowly and you're not going to actually remove the panel But you will be able to bend this back and you'll see these two small screws on the holding the motor so one on this corner and one on this corner so one and then you'll access through this hole the second one in there so that will allow you to remove the motor and that's important because you'll be able to spin the gears freely and remove any debris that is holding them back so what you're seeing right here is a small piece of that black gear inside of the white gear uh, so there's that. The tooth is missing right there. You can see it. Um, I'm spinning the white gear around to see if there's any other pieces of debris that's holding it back. To kind of push it off to the side. And I don't see anything else. The rest of the gear looks to be in good condition. I don't see any broken teeth or debris on the out on the outer part of the gear. So that's a good sign. All right, so after everything was said and done, this was all the debris that I found. So there are uh, quite a few pieces of styrofoam. There's one, two, three pieces. And right here is a tooth from the white gear. Sorry, my camera sucks at focusing, but Here I have a tooth from the white gear, the big white gear. Here I have a tooth from the 
uh, black gear that's right next to it. Uh, another tooth from the black gear just flew away because I have the fan on. Oops, set on top of the motor. Now when I rotate the gears, there we go. The motor spins out and when I rotate it back. So the weight of the mechanism actually prevents it kind of from going up. So I have to hold it kind of tight, but you can see that it spins smoothly all the way out and spin smoothly all the way in there's no sounds but unfortunately you can see on this black gear there's two missing teeth right there the missing tooth off on the to the side right there let me spin it back this way So right there in the middle. Right there in the middle is a missing tooth. You can see it there perfectly where my finger is at. There's a missing tooth. So the rest of it looks good. All right, so all that's left to do is put it back together. So it, I got it all reassembled and here I'll turn it on. And when I open it, it opens up all the way. But when I close it, I still have the chatter, but at least it works now.